to inspire and empower youth culture. Welcome, Jason. Thanks, guys. How are you? Jason, it's good to see you, man. You as well, man. How are you? I'm well. I'm really glad you're on the show because I think you'll bring some really fun uh, insights here. Right off the bat, let's get right into it. Where is the consumer's attention? How do you quantify that in your mind and what's the answer? Well, I think uh, you heard it just now. Our, our mission at Foot Locker is to inspire and empower youth culture. And given that we're predominantly focused on Gen Z, I think what's transpired the past six to eight months has really been exacerbated, exacerbated what we already know. Consumers want brands that align philosophically with their value system, and they want you to take a stand somewhere, wherever that is. And we found numerous ways to engage, and, and that could be the environment. That could be encouraging civic participation. There's numerous ways in which you can do that, and I think they want to see that even more than they did before, just given the volatility that we're experiencing right now. I think that would definitely be my biggest takeaway over the past six months during this COVID time period. And and what about from um, so that macro? What about in the uh, in the trenches? One thing I've always liked when we've interacted is we've always talked in the, our quick passes and events, MBA All Star CS. <laughs> it, it always feels like a contemporary conversation, which usually leads to of the moment. You mm -hmm. know, so for this, I think will help so many because we have a, a big breadth of entrepreneurs, kids, executives, board members, Fortune five hundred. How important for a brand and a, a, a slew of companies that you're overseeing is TikTok right this second? Like, just right to the punchline. Like, thinking about your business, how important is that platform? It's, it's definitely important. And I would say that we definitely haven't cracked the code yet, but it's definitely one that we... Do you, feel, you feel, do you feel it? Do you feel like... If when I hear you say that, I'm sorry to jump in, but do you feel like... Shit, we just really need to win on this platform pretty oh. soon because the longer we go, somebody else is going to take that heat. No, absolutely. And I think there's there's also the fine line of making sure that you're doing it the right way. I mean, you think about when people are just buying followers and just trying to sponsor anyone they could without being meaningful. And I know just even to your previous conversation about influencers, that's something that we use throughout all social platforms. But one of the things that I, I try to evangelize with my team is creating partnerships with influencers, not just people to repost something so we can count impressions at the end of a recap. You know, it has to be meaningful and has to be purposeful. So when you think about TikTok and what we're trying to accomplish there, given that TikTok is really predicated on music and dance, we're we're primarily focused on sports. So how do we bring, how do we stay true to who we are and then make that relevant to TikTok and that audience? Because, I mean, when you think about, think about athletes in the end zone when they score a touchdown. Think about the, the handshakes that guys give when they're going into the basketball court. How do you, that's something that's relevant to TikTok. How do you take that choreography and apply it to TikTok in a meaningful way where it's still true to us, still true to sports and relevant to that audience? I think that is an extremely, extremely good point. Do you think, though, in broader terms, I think one thing that people do in these moments is get a little narrow when the mass of it is just underpriced attention. The biggest thing I've learned in the last 15 years and watching, you know, from my spaces come up to where we are right now on, on TikTok is at times we overthink things. Sometimes just the sheer youth is so there that it's just a game of, like, Micro to macro, like to me, eight thousand x. If I buy your your company tomorrow, I'm like, we're doing eighteen thousand things on that platform ASAP because almost everything's working out because the underpriced nature of the ad product, the influencers on it, like the whole thing feels macro underpriced. And I do think at times, and I and I'm, I've become educated on why companies have to think these things through, which is just politics and internal bullshit. But like the reality is, the net net is underpriced. Thoughts on that? So I, I 